Hello guys and welcome to the latest episode of Mr. Ashodi's Snapshot Science. Now in today's video, we want to look at how enzymes are used in industry. Now, hopefully by the end of this video, you're able to one, state where enzymes are used in industry. We then want to go on to explain how enzymes are used in biological washing powders. And finally, we want to explain how enzymes are used to make fruit, fruit juices and lactose fruit milk. So put that milk down, let's get right into it. Now, we spoke about this before. Enzymes are used in many different places in industry. And most of these enzymes are obtained by microorganisms. But where is it that these microorganisms come from? These microorganisms are grown in large vessels. Imagine large tanks. And these tanks are known as fermenters, all right? Now, the microorganisms are grown in the fermenters and they're provided with the right conditions, the right environment for them to grow and reproduce efficiently. What do I mean by the right conditions or the right, right environment? That means that they're provided with oxygen, that means that the microorganisms are provided with nutrients, they're provided with the optimum temperature and pH, all to make uh, growth and reproduction efficient. Now, these microorganisms will then make these enzymes, and the enzymes will be secreted into the liquid that the microorganisms are growing in. All right? These enzymes can then be collected from the fermenter, they can be purified, and then we can use these enzymes in industry. Now, in industry, if we're looking at these enzymes, where can they be used? I'm going to give you some good examples of where enzymes are used in industry. So the first place that the microorganisms, uh, the enzymes, sorry, are used is in biological washing powders. Now, these biological washing powders essentially will contain enzymes and detergents. These detergents will essentially um, help greasy dirt be uh, washed away from your clothes, all right, to get rid of those nasty stains. But it's the enzymes that are going to break down coloured substances from plants and animals. So things such as blood and egg stains, you know, from your egg omelette, etc. Okay, these will be broken down using enzymes, all right? Now, some of the enzymes in these biological washing powders are proteases. So these proteases, as, you've, as you have learnt before, sorry, will break down protein molecules. Now, this will help remove stains from things such as blood, as we mentioned before, all right? Because as you know, blood contains a red protein, and this protein is known as hemoglobin. So when the proteases break down the hemoglobin, they break them down into smaller molecules. And these smaller molecules uh, can, are colourless, they can be dissolved in water, and therefore they can be washed away, all right? Now, these biological washing powders also contain, all right, lipases. And these lipases essentially will break down lipids. They'll break down the fats. And they'll break them down into fatty acids and glycerol. And this will help get rid of the greasy stains. You know when you had that fat, juicy lamb burger and it created that grease stain on your shirt? All right, these lipases will help break that down and get rid of it. Now, we can also use enzymes to create fruit juices. So your orange juice or your apple juice, okay? We have an enzyme known as pectinase. And what will happen is pectinase will help break down pectin. And pectin is really good in uh, fruits at keeping and sticking the cells together. So pectinase will break down the pectin and make it easier to extract the fruit juices um, from your fruit. Okay, so for example, your apples or your oranges. All right, so the pectinase is used to break down the pectin and it will be used in extracting fruit juice from the fruit, but also it will be used in making the juice clear rather than cloudy. Okay? We can also use an enzyme known as lactase in industry, all right? Now, lactase is an enzyme that breaks down lactose. Lactose is the, is the uh, sugar found in milk. So, as you can see here, lactase will break down the lactose into the monosaccharides, glucose and galactose. Now, all human babies produce lactase. This is to help them uh, break down the lactose from the milk that they're drinking, okay? And help them digest the lactose. But... As you grow, grow, get older and as you get into adulthood, a large majority of people stop making the enzyme lactase, okay? And this is, these are, majority of these people are people from Asian and African descent. They don't have the enzyme lactase in adulthood, okay? A lot of people from European descent have the enzyme lactase, but Asian and African descent, 70, 80% of them do not have the enzyme lactase. So what does that mean? It means that they cannot digest the sugar lactose. It, they cannot digest... Uh, the milk properly, which means that they will end up feeling bloated, sometimes even really sick and really ill, etc. Okay? Now, the milk can be treated with lactase to help break down the lactose, okay? And this will leave us with lactose-free milk, all right? 
A final uh, benefit of this is that we can use the lactase to make glucose and galactose to make sweets, okay? And this is great. So, hopefully by the end of this video, you're able to state where enzymes are used in the industry. Hopefully you're also able to explain how enzymes and biological washing powders work. And finally, hopefully you're able to explain how enzymes are used to make fruit juice and lactose-free milk. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and revise. Mr. Ashodi, signing out.